Atrial fibrillation, or AF, is the most common cardiac arrhythmia and is responsible for approximately a quarter of ischemic strokes. 70% of all strokes in patients with AF are cardioembolic, originating from the left atrium, with 90% of those specifically arising from the left atrial appendage. The standard approach to stroke prevention in AF is the prevention of clot formation with anticoagulant agents. Antithrombotic medications have been effective but are limited by the risk of bleeding and by issues with maintaining the treatment, including poor compliance, suboptimal treatment and interruptions of treatment for procedures or surgery. Since AF is common in patients requiring cardiac surgery, another approach to preventing clot formation would be to occlude or remove the left atrial appendage during the operation, something that has been hypothesized to prevent ischemic strokes in patients with AF. This idea led to the design and conduct of a large randomized trial across all continents that perform cardiac surgery to test the hypothesis that surgical removal of the left atrial appendage at the time of other routine cardiac surgery can reduce the incidence of strokes in patients with AF. The left atrial appendage occlusion study three was led by Dr. Richard Whitlock and the Population Health Research Institute and involved 4,811 patients aged 18 or older who were scheduled to undergo cardiac surgery with cardiopulmonary bypass and a history of AF. 2,379 participants were randomly assigned to undergo occlusion of the left atrial appendage during surgery and the remaining 2,391 did not undergo this procedure. But all participants received the usual care after surgery including oral anticoagulation. Participants were followed for a mean of 3.8 years. The surgical techniques used for the occlusion were amputation of the appendage with suturing of the stump, stapler occlusion and epicardial device closure. Stroke or systemic embolism occurred in 4.8% of the participants in the occlusion group and in 7% of the no occlusion group demonstrating that surgical left atrial appendage occlusion reduced thromboembolic events by 33%. The incidence of perioperative bleeding, heart failure or death did not differ significantly between the trial groups, while the procedure only added four to six minutes to the total length of surgery. The research was 100% public funded and was conducted by researchers in 105 centers around the world. The left atrial appendage occlusion study 3 is significant because it establishes surgical left atrial appendage occlusion as a sustained method to lower the risk of thromboembolism in patients with AF that undergo cardiac surgery.